Hi, this is my video on the Blitzwolf BW-BS110 selfie stick. Now, this is what I call a selfie stick tripod. So it's a selfie stick that doubles up as a tripod so it can be freestanding. Now, just before I show you the actual item, I'll go around the product. Now, I bought this off Amazon for £19.99 and there were no Amazon deals at the time for this and no vouchers, so you pay that price. Um, we have the logo of Blitzwolf here, the model number, some international coding here and the address of the company. We have here the Blitzwolf and the model number and it says flexible tripod with a Bluetooth remote and it says here Bluetooth version 3.0 battery capacity is 50 milliamps for the shutter button the operating distance is less than 10 meters and it's the whole weight of the item without a phone in it is 171 grams and the length is 720 millimeters now it does state it can go up to 31 inches but as i'll show you how i measure my how I measure the selfie stick we'll see because they take it in overall i tend to measure just the length of the actual stem and then same coding again on the back here international coding and that and sorry um, we have a qr code for their website and a barcode. Now in the box here, we have, this is what we get. This is what the actual unit looks like. And it's like a very cylinder, cylinder shape, pipe shape, which is very similar to the JT web um, tripod selfie stick. Very, very similar to it. Um, we have the shutter button here, which has this kind of carbon fiber look on there. And also we have a small USB to micro USB um, charging cable. Now this system, uh, just before I put my phone in there, has a system of where you pull out the top so you pull it out from the top, which will then which shows you the phone mount. So I'll put my phone in there and show you how it looks. Now, just before I show you the Blitzwood uh, tripod selfie stick, I'm just gonna show you here um, the how we connect it, the shutter button. Now, this same, same principle like the other shutter buttons I've shown on previous videos uh, when it comes to these selfie sticks. You have the shutter button here. You press on the shutter button and on this one it is green. When the green, you, when the green light flashes it is in um, pairing mode. You go to your phone whether it's iOS, so i.e. Apple phones or whether it's Android, like Samsung phones, LG phones, um, Sony phones, etc. You go to settings, go to Bluetooth. For um, Android phones, if it requests at the top, sometimes it will say scan for devices. And you, you press that and you scan for this. iPhone, you just simply go into Bluetooth setting and then Keep your finger down on this shutter button here and the green light will flash and it will come up as, on this one, it will come up as BW-BS10. It will come up as that. You click connect. Once you click connect, it will connect to it and this will stop flashing. If it doesn't connect, um, it might ask for a pair a pair code. Now you put in four zeros or one, two, three, four in there and it will connect. 
Bear it in mind, it does not come up with Blitzwolf on there. It will come up as BWBS10. That's what it will come up. So that's how you pair the actual shutter button. Now to fit in your phone with this particular selfie stick with the Blitzwolf, you pull it out at the top and that is your phone mount here. And on the phone mount, we have rubber here to grip and rubber at the top. And it is one of them that you, if you wanna put it into, it will automatically be in landscape mode. If you want it in portrait mode, simply hold the mount at the bottom here, slightly push down and then rotate and it's got a kind of latch lock system and it will hold that for landscape. So that's how you put it into landscape. Now to put your phone in there, you simply get your phone, push up, slap it in like that, and push it in like that and that's it. And then we'll open up our uh, the camera side now and then that's it. Now, just before I test it all, just before I go into it even more, some of these mute, some of these um, selfie sticks, when you press the shutter button, actually mute the sound of the camera, um, the camera shutter. So with, to test it, well, this one's linked up. I'm, I'm on the photograph, so I'm gonna press the button. and a slight little delay, but it takes the picture and it doesn't mute the sound. And if I go into video and press the button, there's sound to start it, and there's sound to stop it. There is a slight, I've noticed with this um, particular shutter button, there's a slight delay. So when you press it, it doesn't automatically does what it's supposed to be doing. It, there's a, a delay of about half a second before it does it, so beware of that. Now, next thing is the length. Now, the overall length of this selfie stick, and I'll try and get it into shot there. Right, the overall length of this selfie stick is 32 inches when extended, but I do not go by that. Like I always say, I go by the length of just under um, the um, mount, the phone mount, to the top of the handle, because that to me is the true length, because your hand is on the handle and takes up at least four inches, depends how big, how wide your hand is, but that will take up some inches. So I always go by the actual length of the stem, and that is 21 inches. So it extends out to 21 inches between these two points. Now, I like how the stem on this um, has a seam on both sides, so it is quite strong. I give it that there is no um, wobbling uh, or bending with this stem at all, because there's a seam on the front and back of the stem, so that is, that's great uh, for Blitzwolf to do that. I like the matte black color of the stem as well, and even the plastic um, dividers are all in black as well. So they're not like with some companies, they would leave them white or gray and it doesn't look too good. This is all in a stealth black. That is absolutely great and I like that. Um, next thing is, um, this has a car aerial type extension. So when you pull this out, there's no need to twist it, it uses a frick, like the old fashioned car aerials. It needs, it does it on the basis of friction to hold it in place. Um, when it comes to the mount, as I showed you, if you wanna put that in landscape, you simply hold the bottom here of the phone mount, push down slightly and then turn. Obviously you gotta adjust your phone to get the landscape position and now you've got, sorry, to get the portrait position, and now you've got portrait, and you can simply 
and there's a bend in there as well. The only negative thing I've, I've found with this, well, it's a negative and a positive, if you know what I mean. First of all, the mount up here is in metal. That's great, I like that. Blitzwolf, that's great, because most of them are all plastic. So that's great that it's metal. The negative thing I don't like is there is no, absolutely no screw. Oh, there is a screw, sorry. There is a, t <laughs> sorry about that. There is a tiny screw. There is a tiny screw there. There's no thumb screw. This would have been great if it had a thumb screw, because if it had a thumb screw on there, after constant use with this, or a lot of use, this will start to get, especially if you start bending it towards you and that, this will constantly wear off, because it's using friction. It's the plastic against the, um, the metal contact in here that is keeping it in where it is. But after a while, that wears down. So if you had a thumb screw in there, Blitzwolf, that would be really good because that time you can tighten it. As it gets loose, you can tighten it. But it's a screw. Now, not everybody walks with a small screwdriver or a Leatherman or even a Swiss Army knife with the attachments. We don't all walk with that. Not many people do. So that's a negative on that. So if you buy this, bear it in mind, the more you, the longer you have it, you might have to bring that little fine screwdriver or tighten it before you use it. So bear that in mind. Now, this has a unique um, tripod legs. They're not made out of metal like some of the others. They are made out of plastic. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now, just before I'm gonna show you how it looks like when it's standing up on its tripod legs, one unique thing I like uh, with this Blitzwolf, one unique thing um, is the tripod legs here, as you can see, have a, um, a cross member, I think you call it. They'll have a cross member to them, which is quite good for sturdiness, to give it a good sturdy, um, a feated position, standing position. I like that. The negative thing, <laughs> again, I don't like is because the feet are part of the handle and the handle is plastic and it is a smooth plastic, there is no grip on this, which I don't like. Um, you be aware, because once you break one of these feet, that's it. That is it for that. You, you, you lose the standing with this. This would have been great if these were made out of metal or even a thicker plastic than what they are. That would have been even great because at least it has some longevity and in case of accidental drops and whatever, because of the plastics that it's made out of, it, then you're gonna get a crack in this. I know you are gonna get a crack. So that's the only thing I have noticed with these uh, tripod legs. They're great because they've got cross members to give it more stability but absolutely rubbish in making them out of plastic. They do come with um, angle bits of rubber ends on them, which is great as well for grip. So that's not, not bad. Okay, now this is how it looks when it's fully extended. Now, Blitzwolf, I have to give it, I'm giving you a positive on one, I'll give you a positive. I like, the, as I says, I like the cross members that you put on the feet. I like the width of the feet. The feet are quite wide, which is great. I like that, they're quite, they're quite right. But the actual footprint is very, very small. I think it's probably, if you extend out your hand, it's the width of your hand extended like that. So. So if you put out your hand, that's the width, the footprint of this, which is very, very narrow. Now you have to bear it in mind, this is just an iPhone SE. So it's a very small phone, but this um, selfie stick can take up to the pluses, the maxes, um, 
the Samsung uh, XLs and whatever. It could take up to very large phones. And like I always say, bear it in mind, if you're gonna use this outdoors, please tether it. Please bring a piece of string with you, at least 20 inches of string, so you can tie this um, to the center of this and then tie it to a post or a, or a table leg or a chair leg. Because if the wind catches this, it will take, tip it over, it will tip it over and you could damage your phone. So bear that in mind. So if you're gonna take this outside, piece of string about 20 inches, the longer the better, because you can just tie it and tie it to the post or whatever to something secure. So that's no problem with that. Um, but as I says, um, because it, it's such a narrow base it sits on, this is really only, to me, suitable for indoor use. Um, literally indoor use. Um, on the floor of inside here, it is no problem. Um, that's no problem because I have to admit there is no wobble. I'm not getting any wobble at all. Even though I think mainly because the feet are quite wide, um, wide, but the stance is quite narrow, but the feet are quite wide, so, but I'm not getting any wobble. Um, but for desktop use, worktop use, um, tabletop use, this would be great. Um, it would be great for that. But for outdoor use, I would not trust this outdoors. And if you do bring it outdoors, bring that piece of string with you. Okay, this is my two pence worth about the Blitzwolf BW-BS10. I've reviewed a similar, I, I reviewed a similar product, very, very similar to this, and it's from JT Webb. Now, me personally would buy the JT Web one because it's all metal. It is very, very similar to this. It is all metal, uh, metal body. It was, it's more brilliant to hold. This one is not too bad. If the JT Web one didn't exist, then this one wouldn't be too bad. But the JT Web one is a lot better to hold, feels better in the hand. I liked how, the, how it's had a grippiness at the top here to pull that out while this hasn't. So I'd go with that. Um, things that I do like with this is I like how when the feet, the feet are quite wide. Uh, the feet are quite wide as in each leg is wide. The stance is very narrow. Did not like that, but the feet are quite wide and I like the cross member to the feet to give it more stability. I do give it, I like that. Um, I like how it turns from landscape to portrait. Quite simple, quite easy. That's brilliant. The stem, the stealth look, the sturdiness of it, um, that's brilliant as well. The negatives about this is the shutter button has a delay on it of about half a second. It could be more, probably to a second but there's a delay in it, definite delay in the shutter button. Also, um, the legs of this are plastic and feel very plasticky. So if you drop this and put a crack in it, that's it for the legs. That should have been metal. The handle of this should have had some grip to it as well. Even a slight grip to it. There is no grip to it at all. It's too smooth. Uh, if you were taking this on holiday and your hands became sweaty, it may be difficult, not difficult to hold, but you'd, you'd notice when holding this that it, it feels like it's gonna slip out your hand um, with something like this. Um, another thing is where the phone holder meets the stem, they put a very, very small screw in there, which, Blitzwolf, if you just put just a small uh, thumb screw, that would have been excellent. Because as I says, not everybody walks around with a Swiss army knife with that kind of screw attachment on there, uh, with that kind of um, screwdriver attachment on there at all. So if that becomes loose, you've had it with that, you have to go and tighten it. So 
uh, using a screwdriver. So that's what I didn't like. I like the actual attachment though. That was metal. That I like that. That was brilliant because not many companies would do that on their selfie sticks. So in overall, for its price, I think it's a fair selfie stick tripod for its price. It's fair. Um, fellas, it's a man's tripod uh, selfie stick. I give it that because of the color, especially in this color. Um, it's a man's tr uh, selfie stick tripod. Brilliant. For a, a woman, uh, for a woman, I, because of the size of it, it depends what bag you're bringing with it, um, you're going to put it in. But to me, it's more of a fella's type of selfie stick, more than more aimed at guys than to women. Um, that's my belief. I could be wrong about that, but that's what my belief is. It's aimed more for guys. Anyway, that's my two pence worth on this selfie stick by Blitz, uh, selfie stick tripod by Blitzwolf. If you happen to have this selfie stick tripod, please leave a comment down in the comment section about what you think of it, uh, the longevity of it, um, any problems with it. Just leave it down in the comment section so we all know. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Thanks for watching.